Pierre Poliev just came out with a really, really great new ad. Now, I don't know who his, uh, you know, his marketing team, who his uh, creative team is, but they're doing a great job just consistently hammering home the point and pointing out all the massive flaws of this Trudeau government. So let's have a look at this video and then we'll uh, talk about it after like usual. Feels like home near the mountains where I grew up. I was adopted by school teachers who taught me that in Canada, if you worked at it, you could climb any mountain. People don't feel that way now. In fact, it feels like we're all a long way from home. Our youth can't even afford homes or food. Debt, taxes, and crime are up. Jobs are down. Immigration is broken. Woke obsessions dishonor our history, destroy our education, degrade our military, divide our people. But common sense will lead us home. We'll cap spending, tax taxes, reward work, build homes, uphold families, stop crime, secure borders, rearm our forces, restore our freedom, and unite our people with common values, common sense, common hope for our common home, Canada. Let's bring it home. You know, again, he's just doing a great job hammering these points home. Now, the one thing that really stood out to me was when he talked about woke obsessions kind of ruining the education system. I wonder what he means by that. Now, again, he probably didn't get too specific because of the YouTube terms of service. I'm honestly not really too sure what you can and can't say about um, certain subjects. Let's just put it that way. I know for a fact they, they are very sensitive when it comes to certain wars, things like that. You can't really talk about it. But that being said, we all know what he's talking about, and he's right. Kids go to school to learn how to socialize, to, you know, they take gym class to get exercise, they take math and science, they learn how to speak English. That's what school is for, and anything else other than you know, extracurricular activities like sports and whatnot, that's what school is for. Let, let's not you know, change what we're doing here. Teachers are paid to read to the kids. They're paid to teach them math. They're paid to teach them science. Let them do it. And then, of course, talking about the ridiculous rate of crime. I think carjacking has gone up 30%. Violent crime, it's like 35%. People don't even want to go outside, right? It, like, I live, you know, in the center of Hamilton, so I'm not that far from downtown. Most people I talk to don't even want to go. As soon as it gets dark, they're going home. And if they work late, they're on a bus and they're, they're, they have a lot more stress than they're used to because now they're more afraid than ever before. Why? Because you not only see this massive amount of crime happening, they're getting bail almost immediately after. Which is, I mean, just imagine you get a call late, late at night, one of your son or your daughters have been hurt, or worse, and then you hear in the news, oh, three days later, the guy's just walking out of the fucking court. Oh, he's free to go. Like, what the hell? And then Justin Trudeau will have the balls to go into question periods. We're doing what's best for Canadians. In no way, shape, or form are you doing what's best for anybody except, I mean, if you're rich, I guess you don't really care about inflation and things like that. And even with the crime, you're, you're living out in some you know, nice suburb or even a gated community or something like that. Um, you know, so those people aren't affected. Poor people are already poor, so they're not affected. Guess who gets affected the most? Take a guess. The middle class. The class of people that they're trying to destroy and they're doing a hell of a good job doing it. So, it's now our job to make sure that not only do we get Trudeau out on his ass, but then we get Pierre Polyev in here and we hold him accountable to make sure that he keeps his promises and puts Canada first like he's promised. He's promised over and over again and over again, so we better do it. If not, where do you go? I've already explained in depth why I forget the, the, the Greens, that drunken idiot Elizabeth May, forget the PPC. I'm not going to vote for the bloc. We can't even vote for the bloc. NDP's done. Liberals are done. Where do you go? Right? Like, and I think that's a legitimate question. I'd love for you guys to you know, give your two cents about that. Where do we go if Pierre Polyev breaks his promises? Now, I don't think that'll happen right away. Because a politician's job, even though they pretend it's to serve Canadians, what it is is to stay, um, what it's about is to stay in power for as long as you possibly can. So if Pierre Polyev screws up, 
people are going to just go back to the liberals. Well, a lot of people will anyway. Maybe not all. I know some of you are done with them just like I am, but some of them will go back. But if Pierre Poyev just turns out to be the same as Trudeau, I mean, we're screwed. So I just want to, and again, I'm not saying Pierre Poyev is like Trudeau. I'm just saying we have to make sure. We cannot just vote him in and then just go, oh, yay, the, the reign of terror is over. Bye-bye, Justin Trudeau, and then just not pay attention. And that's one of the reasons I'm here doing this, to make sure that we hold our politicians accountable. Because remember, they are our bosses. Or sorry, they are our employees, not the other way around. We are the bosses. We have to hold them accountable. If we don't, that's how you get politicians like Justin Trudeau or Jokmeet Singh, who just... They lie, 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 pretend they're doing the best thing for Canada. They're not. Right? So for Pierre Paul, yeah, he's going to come in right away and he's going to cut the carbon tax and he's going to start building more homes and cap immigration. It's like, okay, great. That makes him better than Justin Trudeau for sure. However, why is there microplastics in our water? Why is our food not food? Why are corporations still in power of the government? Those are things that Pierre Polyev needs to step up after he fixes these ridiculous problems that we're all facing right now. And then he's got to go after these other problems. The problems that populists really want him to go after. The, the, problem, the problems that libertarians really want him to go after. He has to do it, and we got to make him do it. Right, so thanks again so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and drop your thoughts, questions, or general comments in the comment section. Um, I'll be back very shortly with a new video. Have a great day.